That's good. You gotta try this. You gotta try it. Hey, it's Brian from Cook's Country, and today we're gonna to be making cava sangria. Now, this recipe comes from the Columbia Restaurant in Ybor City inside of Tampa. Uh, and I was there to experience the Cuban sandwich in all its perfection. And one of the specialties of the house happens to be their sangria. They have red, white, and cava, which is perhaps my favorite. So I enjoyed it with the owner, Andrea Gonsmart Williams, and she shared the recipe with me. So here we go. I have a pitcher that's half filled with ice. And to that, we're going to squeeze half of lime, lemon, and orange in there. So I'll just split these in half. And for the orange, rather than cutting it at the equator like you normally would to juice it, I'm gonna cut it pole to pole because I'm gonna use half of it for a garnish in the glasses. So now we can just squeeze this directly into our pitcher of ice. And we wanna just throw those spent halves right into the ice. Okay, and finally our orange. This orange just barely fits into this squeezer, but that's okay. All right, and directly in there. Now we could take the remaining half of the orange and just slice it into a few half moons for the glass. All right, so we're gonna add kava to our pitcher of ice with our citrus juice. Now, if you don't have kava, you could use a Prosecco or any type of sparkling white wine. Okay, whoa, hey, that's good. That's good TV. So we're gonna add about half of this bottle to our pitcher here maybe three quarters of the bottle, close to all the bottle. And now to that, we're gonna add a little bit of orange flavored liqueur. Use whatever your favorite is. I'm gonna add about a quarter of a cup. Okay, then same, I'm gonna add about a quarter of a cup of brandy. Okay, and now, just because we're messing around a little bit, I like to add a little bit of simple syrup just to kind of gild the sweet lily a bit. Not too much, but just a little something to take the edge off. At Columbia Restaurant, they add a sparkly lemon-lime soda. You could do that if you like. Then we just give this a mix. And now we could get our glasses ready here. We'll put a piece of orange in each glass. Strawberry that's been cut in half in each glass, and then just drop this off. I almost want to try the side pour here where you get some of the ice in there. Like I'm at a diner. All right. Yeah, I could do that all day long. That's so good. Really easy drinking. The reason why I like kava as opposed to red sangria or even basic white wine sangria is because it allows for the fruitiness to come through with a little bit of effervescence. It's really nice. Red wine sangria is, in my opinion, and you can comment below about this, is trying to be something that it's not. So let me know what your favorite type of sangria is. Is it red? Is it white? Is it cava sangria like me? Throw the comments down below. And for more great recipes just like this, go to cookscountry.com.